The reason why the heat is not healing today is because he has been educated. You want to hear a beautiful one? Above all else, Dr. David Ayensu. Dr. David Ayensu is a member of the Smithsonian Institution. There is a program out known as East Meets West, meaning African or Eastern medicine against Western. They begin to show where this African in Africa took some herbs and put on this lady's head because she was crazy. He took a knife and opened her skull. Ooh. He took some smoke and he smoked her around. And Dr. David Ayensu is talking about the herbs of his people. He's from Ghana. And he's a member of the Smithsonian Institution. Mm -hmm. Dr. David Ayensu is the brother that is looking for the cure of leukemia using the pink periwinkle, the rosy periwinkle. Well, I don't know how Dr. Ayensu expects to derive from the rosy periwinkle the cure for leukemia when the rosy periwinkle is also an acid plant and as for leukemia we have cured leukemia long before Dr. Ayensu even dreamed of coming on with the rosy periwinkle but we go back again and we find that in the end of the program East meets West which is approximately a 25 years old program showing comparing Western medicine against ancient medicine. And guess who wins every time? Ancient. No. What? No. No. Western medicine. The allopathic. In the end, Dr. David Ayensu and his colleagues said, Well, you can clearly see that traditional medicine, uh, you know, is all right, you know, but it falls short because you can't really uh, measure the dosage uh, for consistency. Uh, so modern medicine is by far the best on the end of the program. I said, that was so beautiful. But I knew that the day would come in which the philosophy that Dr. David Ayensu is supporting on the African biomineral balance would come face to face one day. And it happened. Dr. David Ayensu called me and said, I've heard about your works in leukemia. But we are looking for the cure of leukemia with the rosy periwinkle. I said, Dr. David Ayensu, we already cured leukemia, so you could just squash that. Just go to something else. But that's 12 years ago that I told him that. 12 years ago, black America, and still now, does not show the interest into our health and healing the way we should. All of the healers in New York, and I could call a name, they all read books. If I take Dr. Phil Valentine and Dr. Love and Dr. This, that, 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 that into the forest, they would know a natural herb from an artificial one. But we can't blame the brothers. They were ill prepared. Because they were prepared by Caucasian. On, on, on the subject of you're not wanting to meet up with a particular individual. This is this is for clarification. Yes. It's not that you don't want to meet them, but based on your experience of dealing with individuals who come with certain credentials and paper from the establishment or the system schools, that you know that there is a, a great difficulty in in a back and forth in a sharing. Your response. My response is this. We are told that the brother that the sister want me to meet is an ethno -backness. What do they cure? These researchers, researchers different plants. I'm only asking, what do they cure? Research is 150 years old. We could research and research and research and research and research. We want to cure. We don't want to research. And just research, research, research. What does he cure? Well, he has different uh, plants. He tells you that you can take that will cure. No, hold it. How does he know that? What does he cure? He, he said he's from he's from he's from Africa, and he was taught by his father, grandfather, so forth. And he said he only uses plants that are from the homeland. You mind if I ask the question again? What does he cure? Any disease. You cure AIDS. Sure well, that's good. If you cure AIDS, I'm the only individual to have diagnostic sheets showing from five different laboratories around the world that they have been cured of AIDS. I don't say it. I got diagnostic sheets. And that's important. Who else have those diagnostic sheets? Thank you.
So I can't lend myself to someone that says that it does. Where's your proof? Speaking of that, Dr. Stavey, um, from being an activist, one of the things I ventured into was AIDS activism. And five years ago, I used to go to a few ASHED UP meetings, and of course that was sponsored by Burroughs Welcome and the European Allopathic Medical Establishment. And then later on, a group, an organization started called HEAL. You may have heard of the Human Education AIDS Liaison, which people like Dr. Strecker and others... Peter Duisberg. Peter Duisberg support that group. And um, heal, of course, I'm sure if they could find you, because many of us thought you, when you left, left us in New York City, we just felt so abandoned. Why can black people find me instead of heal? Alone, that's right. And that's more important to me than heal. But black people are not interested in their health right now. No. But Latin Americans are interested in it because right now we have a cadre of people who have taken to the forests of Brazil, Peru, Chile, Honduras, Guatemala, Salvador who's right now doing research in the forest. None of them are Americans, and none of them are blacks. Why? We talk, and we talk, and we talk, and we research, and we research, and we research, and we spend all of our life researching, and diseases running rampant. And not only that, every minute you, in our communities right now, we don't need to go with this far story. Well, you have to start someplace. You do have to, to begin in research. That's a sorrowful position. Well, we have black well, That's a very sorrowful you position. You, you got to start somewhere. How long is research? My research took me two years. And we cure sickness and anemia. We cure AIDS. And we cure blindness. Two years of research. But these other men have 25 years under their belt. And what do they cure? You're absolutely right on that. But what I was saying <coughs> you had to start in research in the beginning. But in, in the beginning. it wasn't even, I call it research, because my grandmother was the one that did it. See, my grandmother was a healer. And I don't, I, she didn't go to school. Brother so what kind of research she could have done? Brother Sadie, research, <laughs> research can be likened to running a relay race. Oh, yes. If somebody else has covered the ground, and you know about it, then you pick up the race from where they are. But if the race started off heading in the wrong di direction, you you lose. <laughs> because well, the finish line is receding well, faster than you can run. Well, <laughs> <where you're at. laughs> what happens is that what happens is that you continue to pass the baton on but there's no finish line. Right. It's behind you. And running it's behind you. Running it's behind you. So what you So I don't want to hear about research. What you have. In fact, in South America, people don't bring to me these questions. Not in South America. I live in South America. They say, Dr. Sebi, we know of no one that cures the disease that you have cured. So you have the blessing of our country. Honduras has given you all the privilege to practice your craft, regardless to what the world says. You can't go to Africa. I said, no. Although you're an African by heritage, I said, but I can't go there. They kicked me out. So the need to research can be can be attributed in part to the conditioning that many of us have been through yeah. to say, well, where's your research? Whereas you point out that the, the app... What have you done? <laughs> no, what have you researched? What have you done? That's not in America. But that in America is arrogance. But we are arrogant, as Dr. as, as Professor George Simmons said that I am considered an arrogant individual. Yes, Dr. Sebi, not only you are arrogant, everybody in Honduras is arrogant. You've been independent since 1824. You have earned your position to be arrogant, and especially when it comes to the art of healing. If the rest of the physician and herbalists have healed what you heal, they too would be more arrogant than what they are, arrogant. Arrogant is a demonstration I don't know what it means. Of, 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 of being self-confident. We don't see that. That's okay. So. It doesn't among, matter. But I'm saying, we don't see that among our people, so that when we do see it among our people, people of color, even people of color will react, that person is arrogant. Because they're conditioned too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But I want to get to, to some, some basic ailments real quick. I'm Brother Lee Wright. And, and some basic ailments I want to deal with are those that some of our average people are being confronted with right now. Young brothers are, are beginning to show up with kidney ailments, you know, right here in the city. And what would you attribute kidney ailments to at a young age? Also, sisters, young sisters having 
of fibroid tumors, etc. Re reproductive problems. Reproductive problems at a young age.